This is the Glastonbury Tor, one of many religious sites in Glastonbury, made up of a roofless three-story stone tower that stands at 518 feet or 158 meters tall, sat on a conically shaped hill in the English county of Somerset, Glastonbury in the UK. The tower is part of St. Michael's Church Tower, which had been originally built in the 14th century. The word Tor is likely of Proto-Celtic, possibly Old English origin, meaning tall rock, hill, or tower which also highlights the tower's history of being a shrine for not just Christian folk and their belief, but also Celtic paganist people and their beliefs and legends. The tour has a few different names and titles as mentioned before, some of which being St. Michael's Church, the Glastonbury Tour, and much like the Arthurian legend, is commonly referred to in its Welsh to English translation as part of the Isle of Avalon, and occasionally also from Welsh translation, the Island of Glass. Seeing that the tower has had a mixed history with both people of Celtic and Christian faiths, you may be wondering who owns the tour now. The site is managed by the National Trust Organization, which protects historic and green spaces while still having them available to the public. This means that the tour is well taken care of while still being a well-known tourist attraction, pulling in many visitors all the time and being named the most visited and most distinct landmark in Glastonbury. The site has been assumed to have been a place of pre-Christian worship prior and was eventually once used as a base for Romans. The most interesting piece of historical evidence being the discovery of Neolithic or New Stone Age flint tools at the summit of the Tor, dating the site to have been, at the very least, visited a notable number of times as early as anywhere between 3000 BCE to 9000 BCE. There was also the discovery of Roman pottery, pointing to the idea of some sort of routine visitation if not settlement near and on the hill. It has also been long since confirmed that there was an Iron Age lake village settlement nearby, once again showing us the long-standing history of people interacting with the hill area for centuries. Fast forwarding to around the 11th to 12th centuries, a church dedicated to St. Michael made from timber was put up. It's unknown who specifically handled the erection of the church, with the only real documentation of it appearing being by an English monk and historian named William of Malmesbury, who had written about an ancient wooden church, and that he had heard it was built by Christ's disciples. Regardless, it was unfortunately destroyed on September 11, 1275, when an earthquake hit, and was not replaced until the 14th century by another church of the same name, only this time made of sandstone. The second St. Michael's Church is said to have been made by, or primarily with the help of, Abbot Adam of Sodbury. On November 15, 1539, the last abbot of Glastonbury, Richard Whiting, was gruesomely executed in the church after being torturously dragged through the streets of Glastonbury, along with two other monks, under the command of Thomas Cromwell, who was the first Earl of Essex. At the same time, the church is being taken down during the dissolution of the monasteries ordered by King Henry VIII, eventually only leaving what we see now, the bell tower. There has been a lot of speculation throughout the years on whether the hill itself is real or man-made, because of its weirdly patterned maze-like layered terraces, to the point that one of the legends surrounding the tour describes it as a labyrinth or maze based off ancient mythical patterns, implying it was created at the same time as Stonehenge. It's been confirmed that the hill is in fact natural, as it used to be an island many centuries ago, but it's likely there was some human involvement with the shaping of the terraces for agricultural purposes back then. Glastonbury itself has had a long history of religious legends and beliefs tied to it, so unsurprisingly, the tour has its own. One of the most well-known ones of the Celtic faith is that it is believed that underneath the tower is the entrance to the Celtic underworld, Anun, watched over by Gwyn ap Nuth. Other well-known legends that seemingly all tie into each other is that of the Holy Grail being brought to the hill, Excalibur's forgery, King Arthur's last battle, and even a visit by Jesus. Over the centuries, the tower has been bought and sold to a few people, aiding in its continuation in being repaired, before the National Trust finally got it in 1933. Since then, it has kept being one of the most well-known tourist attractions in Glastonbury, as it is the most visited one there. And while it doesn't currently have any events planned as of May 22nd, 2023, there is an annual Gaelic pagan celebration called the Beltane Celebrations, held there on May 1st to celebrate the beginning of summer. The tower has an undoubtedly impressive amount of history and beauty to it. Regardless of your beliefs or how much you know about the site, it is a widely recommended location to visit. Why not check it out?